Hi, my name is Lauren Jonas. I'm a graduate student here at the Institute of Marine and Environmental Technology, otherwise known as IMET, um, and I study marine bacteria. I work with bacteria specifically that live inside of animals. So just like bacteria live inside of humans in our gut, bacteria also live inside of marine animals. And I mostly study marine sponges, um, which are very common animals in uh, coral reef environments, and I study the bacteria that live in association with marine sponges. Sponges are one of the key reasons why we see such diverse life on coral reefs, um, because they participate in all of the major nutrient cycles. A lot of people don't realize that the ocean is packed with bacteria um, and they do a lot of interesting things to support the life that we love in the oceans. So I study um, different elements that we use to survive like carbon and nitrogen and phosphorus and I study how bacteria transform these elements in order to support life in the ocean. There's this paradox, right, about how coral reefs support so much life but then the water around them basically has low or no nutrients. And it's not like the nutrients aren't there. Um, we just figured out that the nutrients aren't staying in the water very long. So the answer to this paradox turns out to be bacteria. Um, and the bacteria are just constantly transforming these nutrients so they're just not staying in the water. So where I come in is that it's not just bacteria that are free living in the water, but it's also bacteria living inside of marine sponges. My master's research is studying how bacteria inside of marine sponges cycle phosphorus in marine environments. We don't really know a lot about how phosphorus is transformed in the ocean because it's really hard to study. The reason why phosphorus is important um, is because it's a key element that all organisms need to survive. Uh, for example, it's a key element in DNA and the cell membrane and also ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell. So it's important to understand how phosphorus is cycled within the ocean um, because it supports all life that we see there.